All right, we're out here uh, in this nice wetlands. We got some beaver ponds, and then we've got some canopy wetlands over here. We're gonna throw some traps out and then check them for our herp lab on Thursday. But Chris was walking. We we drove down as far as we could in the truck, but I was I was scared to go any farther. But Chris, what did you find, Chris? Turtle. <laughs> Our first turtle of the of the up. of the herpetology class what, what year. A turtle to start with. Yes, nice painted turtle. Cute. Oh, I just covered him up there. Look at that little guy. So small, can't even get him. Up. There he is. Little picked up. Little painted turtle. And these really do look painted. They have bright red on them. Kind of a green shell. Pop. Yep. Nice, pretty coloration on these. So this one must have overwintered. In the nest and then it just came out with this warm weather because I mean this is a fresh hatchling it's not like he's been out a year I mean it, this is this guy just came out no yolk sack yeah no yolk sack yeah, he so was he's hanging in the nest so he was he was hanging out getting all those nutrients and now he's thinking he's gonna die and Chris is gonna eat him but we won't <laughs> I'm not a savage he's not a savage now that he's got salmonella he'll be all right We'll let them go and worse. and uh, <laughs> cool. So we know there's painted turtles here. Now hopefully we can catch some adults and start marking them and see how many are out here. I guess it's also glad that if I'd have ran through there, I might have squished them. <laughs> cool. So we're gonna get these hoop nets out and set them, and they're pretty basic setup. I mean, there's a so we have this opening on this side. Of course, that's where they're gonna funnel into, and then it's got rope that go in and hook up back in the back and so you put those poles on one end through that rope and then one on this end to hold it up and it just pulls it tight and that's the opening that's the funnel that they get into you can see it stays open but thankfully most of them can't figure out how to get out and then we just come back and check it and we got some sardines good old hot sauce and mustard flavored they seem to like those the best. Or at least I like to eat a few before I put them in the trap. So that's what we're going to put them in. And then we'll just set them and come back tomorrow and see what we get. So we got these beaver ponds. We're going to put a few and then into that wetland over there. We're hoping to find some mud turtles. It would be nice if we could get a good spot for mud turtles to do some work on. Right, so we just got the first one set. Well, I set this one. Chris set one. Or set one. You can see the bait bag. Just my kids' old socks. When they lose... One of the pairs of socks, I take it for bait bags. They make good bait bags. So it's got the hot sauce sardines in there, and that bag will let that smell get out. We might not get any the first night. It's still kind of getting cool at night. They might not be super active yet, but we leave this out a couple days. We'll get some stuff. So we'll come back and check it tomorrow and then Thursday and Friday. But it's a nice little wetland here. There's a beaver dam over there, and well, this is about two foot deep. I don't know how deep it gets over there, but this is good enough to, to set the trap. And hopefully tomorrow we'll have some cool stuff in it. We're going to set some in the wetland, too. Just a nice place. And there's a creek. Mill Creek is just on the other side where the tree line is. So there's a creek that runs over there. got the big trap set over there. <clears throat> now I got this a smaller 12-inch instead of the 3-foot hoop net. This one has a little bait bag included, so that's a nice feature. This is actually a collapsible crab trap, but it works great for turtles, especially in this type of flooded wetland. We're hoping to get mud turtles. <clears throat> They're just cool, so we're hoping to get those. And you can see where the beaver is right there. You can see the where they've dammed it, and you can see the mustard sardines on my finger. But they've dammed it and created this nice flooded plain, this wetland. It's a pretty big wetland. It gets fairly deep. I'm just going to throw this one out here. Hope there's no coons that can take it. And yeah, we'll come back and see what we get. Just trying to figure out a nice place to put it. That looks good over there.